guy. Annoying Creed Central. Today we will be playing Holy Four as Germany. This will be a Germany tutorial for beginners. So, uh, first of all, I'll be doing an all out tutorial soon. Maybe, I don't know, in, in a week or month. Sorry it's been so long. It's just, you know, stuff. Gotta do stuff. So you got two scenarios. I like doing 1936 because it gives you time. And you can pick any of these countries, but you can also be any other country that existed during World War II. You can just... I will be being Germany, of course. This is a tutorial for Germany. But you can also be Romania, Yugoslavia, any of these countries. You can also set your custom game rules by clicking on custom game rules. I'm just checking if I have any custom game rules on because I think this, this is going to be a default. Hmm? Just to um, get a drawing in the mood for tutorial. So you can have Iron Man mode, which does not allow you to go back to your pre-saves, and then you got historical AI focuses. I like having that off, but for the tutorial, we'll have it off. So we'll have a few parts of this too. Okay, so we're in. So we have all of these things. For Germany, I like to go Rhineland first. As your first national focus. Now you're gonna hold enter and get rid of everything that just get rid of light tanks. Motorized, fighters, close air support, tactical bombers, all your ships. And you're going to increase the priority of this. And you're going to put that down. And you're going to probably put three or so. Then you're going to add some submarines. And then you're probably just going to want to add all those up. And then, so we still have a fair amount of those. So we're just going to want to increase it. Okay, so now we're going to, we got to deal with research. So, I like starting off with artillery. Interwar artillery, and then, so industry and engineering are probably like really really important so now we're gonna go for electronical mechanical engineering and then we're gonna go for basic machine tools because that's gonna give us production efficiency cap which is gonna be good and then go for construction so we can get construction done faster so if you are wondering about construction those are what civilian factories are for. So we got three civilian factories. I like going with infrastructure eh, as Germany and then just putting them around this general area. 
because infrastructure speeds up troops and we're probably going to be putting some factories around there. So then we're going to train up maybe 22, I like 8, but it Yeah, let's just go for 22. I mean, 8. Sorry. Now let's go for 10. And we're going to train them up in West Fallen. Or West Fallen, I don't know. You'll see why later. And then we're going to click on these four divisions who are in Eastern Prussia. So we're gonna make those guys a new army by right clicking and then right clicking and then we're gonna make all of these zoomed out groups into groups. And then we're gonna group the eight and five together in one group and then uh, 13 and four in one group. Then we're gonna just give Give these guys good generals, like, well, field marshals, like Walter Modal and Gunther Von Kluge. I like those two guys because they're good. They're, they have some pretty good um, buffs. And then we're just going to go for another new guy. Heinz Guderian is good, because he gets some good buffs. Then, I don't really like this minus recovery rate, so we're going to get probably Maxillion guy. Okay. And then we're going to get maybe Kurt Student. He seems like he might have some good buffs. And then we're just gonna deprioritize these so you don't get bugged by the pop-ups because we're not really gonna be doing any of these ones yet. And so then I, if you're like really a beginner, I'd put it at three, but for this tutorial I'll be doing five because you're not really gonna be doing that much right now. You'll just be waiting. Your national focus is done. Oh, right, I forgot. We're gonna repause the game. We're gonna give these a, these guys a front line on Belgium. Give these guys an offensive line here to Courtridge and Ghent. I'm sorry, Belgians, if I mispronounce that. And we're going to put a front line on that. I'm just going to left click there and then go. We're going to right click here and then we're just going to crush those guys. Hopefully. And then we are going to unpause it again. And I think once we get the war goals against the Dutch East Indies, Belgium, um, we will end this video and we'll probably make another, we'll probably make a part two. I can't tell you how long it's going to be until that part two comes out. So now we're just going to be waiting until we get the Rhineland National Focus. Uh, just so you know, we're, we're going to be aligning ourselves with the Soviets because this is a beginner tutorial. And for beginners, I'd say it's like basically impossible to go to war with the Soviets.
It's Germany if you ever begin. Because they just got so many troops. They got so much manpower. They're really hard to deal with. So I just recommend going after Belgium and the Dutch. Because then you can get some colonies. Which good again. Good like checkpoints against the UK. We're gonna be puppeting basically every we're gonna be puppeting a lot of people in this video. We're gonna be puppeting Greeks, the Yugoslavians, the Croatians, Romanians, the Hungarians, the Greeks. Yeah, you know, I already said Greeks. And we're gonna be allying ourselves with the Italians, the Soviets, the Bulgarians, hopefully France, if this goes well. So yeah, sorry, you can skip through this part. While we're waiting. Okay, we're gonna wanna pause it now. Okay, so the next national focus we'll be going for is army innovations. I know, you're probably like, why? Just give me some army experience. And I mean, army experience is good, but that's not even what we're after. We're after getting an alliance with the Soviets. So we're gonna unpause. Oh, wait, I forgot. We got to justify our war goals. So go over to the Dutch East Indies. Justify your war goals. Sumatra, or whatever the heck you want. It doesn't matter because you'll just be popping them. So then we're going to go back over to Europe to justify our war goals against Belgium. And we're going to go back over to the Dutch East Indies. And cancel our war justification. And then redo it. The reason for this is that we will... The UK and France... I think, will justify, will guarantee the independence of non-aligned and democratic nations. Like, always. Only if the world tension is above 14%. Well, not only, you do start off the game with a few guaranteed people like Romania. Okay, so now that we've completed that, I think we're going to go for radio. Because radio is pretty good, and yeah, it's pretty much. Oh, and I forgot about our air. So we're going to just select all of our air divisions and probably apply them to these guys. It doesn't matter which person you pick, well it probably does, but this is a tutorial. You're just gonna pick a big group, like the eight or thirteen group. 
so we can just get air superiority in that region. The air superiority is a big problem. And an annoying problem. And an annoying I like to play with uh, battle plans for our allies on so we can see what they're doing. And unit colors between countries and regions. I like having it for countries because that just looks nice having like the Dutch troops be have the orange have the orange color and the Belgian troops have this yellow color. And the Polish have this pinkish red color. And we have like this blackish green color. In my opinion, it doesn't really. Okay, so we got some more. So we're just gonna go straight for that. Even though it has a time penalty. Like, the time penalties aren't that bad. But if, like, you're going for, like, just, like, down this, the, ten the time penalties can be pretty bad. So we're going to go for dispersed industry, not concentrated industry. That's important, because dispersed industry gives more buffs and really good buffs. Like, really, really good. Well, bye guys. Annoying dream.